Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another team review. And today I'm very excited to check out Jukum Basketball from the Haywire Group. This is for two players, ages 8 plus. It'll take about, I don't know, 15 to 25 minutes to play. And in Jukum Basketball, you are going to be trying to shoot baskets, shoot three pointers, dunk the ball, but all the while your opponents and you also sometime are going to be playing defense, trying to swat down the pass, make it so they hit bricks and misses and Jukum, because it's called Jukum Basketball. Uh, it is a light, family weight, two-player basketball game. I really like Jukum football. Will I really like Jukum basketball? Let's open it up, and I'll tell you what I think about it. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what's going to get inside of Jukum basketball. So first and foremost, we got a handy-dandy rule sheet. It's a, it's a really, really long rule sheet. It's about one page, really, double-sided, full color, full of pictures, illustrations, examples. It's a well-done rule sheet. It should have you up and running pretty quickly, so thumbs up on the rule booklet. So in Jukum Basketball, you are going to have a hand of five cards, and what you're going to be doing is you are going to be trying to score on your opponents by hitting three throws, hitting half-court shots every once in a while at the end of quarters, two-pointers, three-pointers, but at the same time also playing defense on your opponents with these red cards right here. There's a couple more fancy cards mixed in that I will show you as they come up but that is the general gist of the game you're going to be playing through this deck four times writing down your score with a pen and paper to see who can get the most points and they'll be the winner of jukum basketball so let's show you how the game is played so first and foremost you got this deck right here and this is the star of the show this is the only component you're going to be getting and you're either going to have most of the time black rimmed cards like this which will say two pointer or three pointer dunk or red cards which will say things like miss technical foul block miss things like that red ones defense black ones offense pretty simple also mixed in there are some other special cards there's a half court shot uh, which can only be played during your turn and only if there are no cards left to draw which lets you hit a three pointer there's a free throw uh which you can play but only if you uh you get a technical foul, so you have to match these up. The problem with that is there's only one technical foul card in the whole deck, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, and then there's the Jukum, which is unstoppable and will give someone double points. So if they hit a three-pointer, it's actually worth six points. Not exactly sure how that works thematically, but still, that's what the card does. So let's show you how a mock turn is going to go. It's very simple. On your turn, you should have five cards. You're going to play an offense card. If you ever cannot play an offense card, you can discard two cards, draw two new cards, and that's the end of your turn. It doesn't happen too terribly often because there's lots of offense cards, but I suppose it could happen. So we'll start off, we'll weaken up the defense by shooting a two-pointer. So now what my opponent's going to do, he's going to look and he's going to decide, do I want to play this brick card? So the brick can't be played against a dunk card, but he could play it. So he plays that boom i don't score two points we put both these cards in the discard pile i draw a card he draws a card and now it's his turn to go on offense let's see what he's gonna do he's also good he's gonna go for a three-pointer three-pointer woo so he shoots a three-pointer but unfortunately he misses it boom so puts that in the discard pile he draws a card I draw a card. Let's see. I got... Uh, we'll go for another three-pointer. Maybe he doesn't have anything to block it. Three-pointer. Unfortunately, he does have a block. He blocks it. So, discard pile. Draw a card. Draw a card. He has a timeout card, which is another one of the fancy cards. Take another turn after this. Discard up to three cards from your hand and draw back up to five cards. So, that's pretty nice. So, uh, he will shoot a two-pointer like that. I do not have anything to block it, so he has successfully scored this. He would put this over here in his score pile, and it'd be worth two points at the end of this quarter. Anywho, you're going to go until this entire deck runs out. And then you'll go until no one else can shoot anymore. So you'll keep taking turns without drawing cards until someone eventually will not be able to play any cards, at which point you will tally up how many points are in your score pile. You will write that number down for each player, take all the cards, reshuffle them back up, and rinse, wash, and repeat three times. And whoever's the most points after four quarters will be the winner of Jukum Basketball. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. Alrighty then, Jukum Basketball from the Haywire Group. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the pros side, the game, I like the packaging. You know, this, this little metal class right here is not going to come loose. Your cards aren't going to come flying out. Rule booklet is well done. I like the artwork on the cards. I think that's pretty well done. Card quality themselves is pretty decent. Everything about this package is a nice little cohesive package. It's portable. 
I just like the packaging, I like the artwork, I like the graphic design, I like everything about the game in that particular aspect. Um, the game is very simple, two players, easy to learn, easy to teach, which is always a good thing, which goes hand in hand with the good rule booklet. And I think if your kid likes basketball, they could have some fun with this game. And that's all I have on the pros. Because moving on to the con side, unlike Jukum Football, which I did recommend you check out, I can't recommend this one. I just do not like it. And it it, it shares some of the same mechanisms from Jukum Football, but I feel like this is a little bit dumbed down. I, and I just did not like it. It's just too dirt simple. There's not pretty much any choices to, to make on your turn. Oh, yeah, I can block a shot, so most likely I probably will block a shot. I mean, sure, you could be like, maybe I'll wait until he shoots a three-pointer or something like that. But for the most part, there's not very much strategy in this game, and it's very repetitive. They expect you to play it four times in a row. Now, they do say you can play the college rules. We only play it two times in a row, which I highly recommend you do. But still, it's just so monotonous and boring, and I just I can't recommend it. It's just, we didn't have fun playing it. Uh, we played it, and we're just like, meh. Um, so, Jukum Basketball, unfortunately, is a miss. Also, the Jukum card. Like, I understand they want to shoehorn the Jukum card in there because it's called Jukum Basketball, but it, it doesn't make any sense. Why would you score double the amount of points because you juke somebody? That's not how it works. Oh, that was a nice juke, LeBron. We'll give you four points for that play instead of two. That, that doesn't make any sense. Like, in football, I understand you juke them, and then you get double the yardage because then you run past the defender, but in basketball... It doesn't make any sense. Um, so the game is dumbed down, and I just I, I can't recommend it. I would highly recommend Jukum Football over this, or any number of other better two-player family games over Jukum Basketball. But if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know what is your favorite basketball team. Now, this is where I get a little bit of a bandwagony kind of thing going here. With football and baseball, it is 100%. I have a set team. I mean, I got a tattoo. That's how hardcore I am about my team. I got season tickets to Denver Broncos. But with the basketball, with how often star players get traded, I learned early on when I was a kid, I couldn't just have one favorite team. Because my favorite player of all time is Shaq. He is, always has been and always will be my favorite player. But he went to Orlando. He went to Los Angeles. He went to Miami. He went to the Boston Celtics. He played for the Cleveland Clams. He played for the Phoenix Suns. He played for six teams. So having a favorite player in the NBA is very, very difficult. And, I, you know, I feel like NBA is such a star-driven league that it's hard to root for the team over, say, uh, just the player. But that could just be me. But, but so I do root for... I root for LeBron, now I root for the Bulls because I really like Dwayne Wade, and I root for the Pacers because obviously I'm from Indiana. But those are my favorite basketball teams for now. What are your favorite basketball teams? Do you like basketball? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.